Now, if you remember back to the previous episode, I had already created our mapping to where we can map our episode table directly to our episode entity. And we're going to build off that. I've already taken the liberty of setting up very basic mappings for our comment as well. Now, what we want to do is take a look real quick at the database schema just to kind of illustrate what we anticipate mapping. This is the database schema. You can see that a single episode has multiple comments and of course a comment can be attached to a single episode. So this is what we want to set up. From going this way to this way is a has many and going from comment to episode is a one to one or a references. So how do I set up my has many? I'm going to use the has many method. It expects a function. So I'm going to say x dot comments because I want it to populate my comments property. I'm then going to say I'm using a key column. Which is my key column here? It's going to be episode ID. Now if I had a, a multiple key uh, in, environment, I would use the key columns and provide both of my foreign keys. I'm going to set up my fetch strategy be, to be a select. And we'll talk about the difference between fetch select and fetch join here in a second. And I'm going to go ahead and say fast, cascade all delete orphan. I now have set up a one to many for episode has many comments. So let's take a quick look at this via our test harness. All I'm doing here is setting up my session so I can actually get something to connect to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a criteria syntax where I will get my session. Yes, I know I misspelled it, but yeah, we're not going to worry about that too much. And what I want to do is I just want to get the count because I want to show how setting up as a fetch type of select will make a big difference on your, your strategy versus setting up as a fetch type of join. Now let's go ahead and run this query. Now my queries run successfully and I do have an episode and if I step over the count you'll see that I have one one comment added to this. Let's take a look at the fluent or the uh, NH prop output of this see what's going on. You'll see from the output here that there are two select statements performed. The first one will select on the comment directly and the second will select on the episode or vice versa actually. And the difference is here is because I've got my fetch type set up to be a dot select. Now, I could set this up to be a dot join, and I would get one result. And let's take a look at how you could do that real quick. I'm just going to go ahead and rerun this test. I'm not going to worry about debugging it. So my test is finished. Let's take a look at Inhibernate Profiler. You'll now see that I have one select statement. So when setting up my has many, I can decide to do a fetch strategy of select, which means that for every child table I need to hit, it will actually do a separate query, or I can set up to be a join. Now there's a huge distinction between trying to set this up as a fetch of select or join. I'd like to set them up as selects by default because if you set up by as a join, every time you access episode, it will automatically left join to the comment table and that might not be my end result. So by setting up as select I can still get the join I just have to do a little bit more work. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do that. So I'm going to set that back to select. Then here I'm going to come to my criteria and I'm going to say create alias. And I'm going to create an alias to my comments property. And I'm going to set my join type 
to be a left outer. And if I rerun this test again, and then take a look at the NHProf output, you'll see that my join actually, my select actually does a join for me. So I've overridden my fetch default fetch strategy and use criteria to do a uh, to do a uh, join. So here's my statement. You'll see that again I have one select statement where it joins to episode comment. So that essentially is how you set up your has many. And there are all, obviously multiple ways you can set that up and more in-depth ways you can set it up. But this will get you started. Now how do I set up my references? Re remember my references is from when I want to go from a comment has an episode. To do that I need to go to my comment mappings. And I'm going to use the references keyword. And again, references takes an expression. So I'm going to say x dot episode, because I want it to map to my episode property. And my column name is episode ID. This is my foreign key column name. I'm going to go ahead and also add in my foreign key constraint here. Now I'm going to set my fetch type here to be a select. We'll just call this cascade saver update, and then we'll lazy load this. So I've now set my mapping to go from a comment has or a comment has an episode. So how would I test this? And I'm actually going to do a inner join here because I know that a single comment must have an episode. And we're just going to pull out the episode name. Let's put a breakpoint at the end of this. Let's run this. you'll see that I'm able to perform a query and actually get the episode of or name of overview on how to use nUnit. Let's take a look at the nhprof output. You'll see that I select from episode comment and I'm interjoining to episode. In our scenario here I didn't specify how many episode comments to return so it returned all of them. Not a big deal. Now we've taken a look right now on how to set up a has many and a references. So just to recap what do we do? For our has many, we, we created our mapping inside of our episode mapping class and pointed it to our, our comments. And we said that we have many. We provided the foreign key in the comments table. We've chosen our fetch strategy. And we've also chosen our cascade or our save strategy. For our references, we set up our mapping from comment to episode. We've set our foreign key. Again, we've set our fetch strategy as well as our save strategy. So those are the two very simple ways that you can set up mappings within Fluent and Hibernate to generate the mappings for and Hibernate to be able to communicate from one, one entity back and forth to another via relationships. So I hope you learned something. Until next time.